camera. Can you introduce yourself and say which power you're playing here? Round three, board six. I'm Mark. I played France. Kevin O'Kelly, Germany. I'm Andrew Barlan. I played Russia. I'm in a turkey. All right. So uh, what was the final result of the board? Who wants to give me the thousand foot view? 10, 9, 7, 1, and 7. Who's missing? OK. It flowed back and forth. I jumped out to a very big lead uh, thanks to my treachery uh, and lying to Eric Cornell. Totally lied. lied OK. And, and who was Eric playing? Uh, Eric was England, and we lost Austria, who okay. was uh, Tim from uh, from Ohio. Okay. Uh, got him to overextend early on, and then Mark and I had moved up north. I left him around because it slowed him down. Because I don't know why he was so mad at you. I really don't. He was really mad at you for me stabbing him. And I just kept picking off dot by dot by dot, and I got to nine and then 11 and played too short because I left it all there and left Munich open on the I stab. So okay. I built two and that was the turning point for me and stayed at nine the rest of the game. So to be sure, he stabbed me. I did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were going to get really big together. Ah. Really big. But really? It was 9-6, it and it would have gone to 11. It was 9-7, and it would have gone to 11-6. And I it was a good failed game. to cover me. Of course. And that was the... All and right. the best part about that was... I told him he was losing Munich and to support it. And Austria did the same exact thing and told me he was taking it from me. I misheard him. Said I'm not taking it from you. I thought you, he said I'm good. And he was. And he, he was, was good in Munich. What, that yeah. was the comment the over East, on the table. The East took a long time to solve itself. Yeah. And it never did. Yeah. yeah. I got stabbed. I pulled back. Made, made peace with Italy. Yep. He moved to the East. I took care of business in the North. Worked with. He finally turned out back off, off against me. We were good again, and then it was all about where we're going to end up because it's going to, it was not going to be a solo for anyone. All right. He, How did he? Made a, sorry, one last thing. Yeah. Really since he made a nice play. He, he was waiting around, waiting around, played nice, and then stabbed from eight to ten. But seven to ten. Seven. No, eight, he built two, and then. Oh, yeah. uh, but I had Venice, and he had to work his way around there. And by that time, everyone knew he had voted to get himself a board top, and I rallied against that. Okay. And then he picked up some. Well, I had threatened. I said if he doubted me, I was going to do everything I could to stop him. And, he won and that's exactly what happened. Mm. He won doubted me, and I did everything I could. All right. And he voted against every drop. Yeah, I heard that. Who, who was Italy again? Uh, Randy. Did you, did you vote against any friends? I vote about, voted about almost against every drop. Interesting. Cause yeah, no no surprise to those of us who know and love you. Not the first one. Really? Not even the second one. But at that point, I figured no, someone else is voting down, and it's like, I'm just going to pick plan. Yeah. You had room to move, so I figured, yeah. yeah. So Amanda, how did you uh, end up surviving? How did they not end up killing you? Um, well, I mean, in the beginning, Russia and I were aligned pretty well. well then about uh, 19 thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. About 1902, I had saw an opportunity to grow and by taking Trieste and ended up not providing Five the support minutes that I told them I would provide. Uh -huh. And then Russia Good took job. offense to that. Okay. And then just decided to ally with Italy to kill me. But then was when it? it was pretty obvious that Italy was the one vetoing the draw, okay. um, and I was at one center, Russia decided he was just going to support me, and that's okay. how I ended up staying alive with him. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And so this is the board where Randy ended up not building in 1901, because you told him you'd support him into Greece, but you bounced him. Well, I, I originally told him he should go to Tunis because he wasn't going to get Greece, but he kept harping on me, I want Greece, I want Greece, so I'm like, fine, I'll support you into Greece, and then I didn't do it. That, that is, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, the right answer. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you do that. In 01, Italy and Austria are both at three. Yeah, he actually, I have that. It's already posted on YouTube, right, that posted. story. It, yeah, and, uh, that's England great. is uh, here? Uh, yep. Oh, hey, how did it go down? Well, I, I, I just came back after, I've been out for a while. Okay. And uh, I convoyed, as England, I convoyed the German army in Holland into London in 1901. 1901? 1902. 1902. 1902. 1902. 1902. 1902. Because it was very. I got. I got tricked into a triple that never happened. Hmm. And um, I'm like, well, there, there, there was was going to happen. I, I went to, I went to Russia, looking, looking for help. Was and there any like, help to be found? And he's like, it's okay. <laughs> that's just, that's it's okay. Easy. I'm just going to take Norway. Well. And uh, um, so I said, forget it. And uh, I decided to try and make myself useful to Germany yeah. by still having armies up in, in yep. Russia and stuff. 
And uh, I just w I wouldn't talk to France because um, okay. I had to pick somebody. Yeah. And uh, I really thought that I was offering enough to Germany yeah. that that he'd take it. Yeah. And so now I come back after my two hour nap and. Germany doesn't have any English dots at all. And France so, and France has so, them all. So, so I, I've accomplished absolutely nothing. <laughs> well, you accomplished something for a time. <laughs> and then I, Azimandius there, there would note that... Point, uh, there was a point in, uh, was it, uh, 1906, where I was, I was still at two. And, oh, uh, so even after you convoyed Germany I, into your home I center, you were around for a long I time. Okay. Long time. Yeah. I kept him alive for a couple of years, and then I didn't think he was useful anymore. And then at that point, at the exact point, Mark thought he was useful. And oh, uh, there you go. And, Mike, and, you and, and Mark, 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 at the point that he supported me back into London from Wales, right? He he thought Edinburgh was mine because I had two units on the board, right? But my second dot was Moscow. Wow. There was a that lot I, of that today, that I, I have to that say. I had, that I had pulled because right. um, there was no keeping it. All right. So Danny actually and had a did, fleet did in... Did you know yeah. that it wasn't? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, Danny, <laughs> Danny, had a, Danny had a fleet in the Eastern Med yeah. as France, supported by Portugal yeah. on his board. So that's well, kind of crazy. I had, I had, I had a short-lived fantasy that I was actually going to get my three build. home centers back. Uh, and I was going to have a fleet in Edinburgh. I was going to have a fleet in London. I was going to build Army Liverpool, right? So in 1907, my intention was in 1907 to order Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you very much for the recap, guys. Good luck tonight and tomorrow.